Welcome to the Red Room. Uh, it's the very, very, very end of the night. There's one burger on the table, a few crisps and some drinks left over. And I'm joined by Lou and Ty of New Young Pony Club, who have just played. Uh, how did it go? Went very well. We enjoyed ourselves immensely. Our bass player had a new bass guitar and it was very loud and funky. So, so it was it a good it. opportunity to try out new instruments? <laughs> so it was a great to try out new instruments. The crowd was uh, rousing with a capital G. So you've got awful jet lag at the moment. Where have you just have, come back from? We've just come back from South Africa. Oh, wow. And, and, and Australia. Australia. Oh, okay, so how was yeah. that? Great. Amazing. And here you are in, in playing in a, in a room in, in, in Two days later. Kensington. In London. It's good to be back in London now. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Okay. Tired, but I remember, uh, this is a, a bit of a confession, I used to work in, in a Virgin Megastore in the, in the radio station in there okay. years and years ago and I remember when uh, Ice Cream first came out on 7 inch on yellow vinyl and I remember buying it, uh, that, the first sort of version Yay. of that single, uh, what 2005 would that yeah, have been? 2005 it would Okay been. so you know we're now 2010, it's, it's a long time, this is it's five years time. so... We're vintage now. You're, you're now vintage, mm -hmm. do you enjoy vintage, vintage status? We do. We do. We can't price in some stores, but we're <laughs> overpriced in others, I don't so it's great. It. No bargain bin action for New York Pony. Not at all. We're vintage. No. So, I mean, you've, you've, how can I put this? You've ridden the waves of many different musical movements and styles, and I don't really want to what mention. What are you saying? Well, New Rave and all that you sort of stuff. You're saying we're you, bandwagon jumpers. You can't, no, you, no, you got lumped in by the media yeah, and the press and people in. like that. You're I correct. mean, do you feel that now you've, you've really found your own thing, you've found your own style, and you, you, your own identity? Uh, I think we're constantly finding our own style. I think that's part and parcel of what makes our band great is we see ourselves not as just one thing, but, you know, we have a whole raft of different influences and we love to play. We basically see the past 50 years of pop, rock and soul and funk and everything as like a supermarket that we can, you know, do smash and grab raids on for every album. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, what's next? You released The Optimist this year, your, your new album. Were you pleased with the, the reaction to that? I mean, it, a lot pleased. of people are saying, oh, it's a new direction for New Young Pony Club. It's They've the Depeche Mode direction that made us big in Europe. Right, OK. Mm. You're big in Europe. So what's the biggest gig you've played in Europe now, then? <laughs> it's hard to say. We played a lovely one in Slovakia when we went on at 4 o'clock in the morning and watched the sun rise. Made the entire audience turn around to greet the sun. It was wonderful. Nice. It's like being a druid. Yeah, and what's the plan for the rest of the year? What, what are you going to be doing now? Um, well, we've got a few more gigs in Europe and in the UK, and then I think we're going to start work on the um, Difficult Third album. The Difficult Third, so d if Depeche Mode was the, sec uh, the, the, the last one, what's the next one going to be? I don't know, we haven't decided yet. We well, maybe like the Associates, the, uh, or maybe... I thought it was Difficult Second album, um, so this album um, should be easy. Okay, so maybe it's it the easy, it depends it's easy third the article, album. <laughs> I think, to be honest. Uh, thank you very much, Lou and Ty, for coming in and chatting thank to us thank in the you. Red Room. Thanks for doing the gig as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.